So I um, have been thinking a lot recently about the past year and where things were, where things are now, and I cannot say how incredibly grateful, thankful, happy, blessed I feel, we feel, because last year, this time, and last May, was Ruben's like worst time, everything all escalated with all of his GI issues that he had been having. And I just looked at the calendar because I knew it was around this time. It was May 31st last year, so that's what two days from now will be a full year that he had his scopes done and we got his diagnosis that he has inflammatory very early onset inflammatory inflammatory bowel disease. Um, which actually at the time was like, we, we were crushed, but at least we had a diagnosis. We had something. And although then that night was one of our like worst nights ever yet as parents where we had to rush him to the ER because he wasn't breathing very well was gasping for air because he had inflammation from the scopes being done. Um, just bad. It's just one of these things I'm looking back on and realizing how amazingly far he has come, how grateful and blessed we are to have the support of our friends and family um, near and far and the opportunity and resources to be able to travel to CHOP every month, to have him get his infusions there, to be able to afford, not afford, but to have insurance that covers the $27,000, $30,000 monthly infusions, and the closeness to CHOP, and I, I mean, I just can't even put it into words. I can go on and on. I just feel so so grateful. So I wanted to share that because he's doing amazingly at his last appointment. His numbers were within normal range, which is incredible. He's growing. He has energy. He's not having to go to the bathroom a million times a day. He has little chubby cheekies and like double chin, which is just amazing. And we are just so grateful and blessed. I don't know what other words, synonyms to use, but I really wanted to share that here because that is one of the reasons that I donate 10% of my proceeds to CHOP to be able to help other families, women and children, um, get to CHOP and get the treatment that they need. The fund that we donate to uh, allows CHOP to disperse the money to maybe if there's a new treatment that somebody can't afford or if they need to, they bring people in from other countries, from across the country, um, if they can't afford that to help them. They are just an incredible, on the edge, groundbreaking place that I am overwhelmed with happiness that we're able to get there and I just don't want other families to have to go through what we went through and not have that ability to get to the number one place um, to treat children. So I want to just share that. Um, thanks for listening to my going on and on about just feeling wonderful that we're there and close enough, but that's why I donate 10% of my proceeds and just to share that with you, that it really does help people. We are some of those people that could essentially be helped by these donations. So um, I'm thankful. I'm thankful to have you in our groups and thankful to be able to donate and help others. All right. See ya.